Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and I am the counselor at Butterfly Project. So today I wanted to touch on boundaries in a different way. I have done a video on boundaries and I will link that uh, here for you guys. Um, but this is in regards to self-love and how that affects boundaries. So one of the things that I teach my clients especially is as you start to increase your self-love or your self-concept, you know, how you see yourself. And I've done a video on that as well, self-concept and all the different parts to it. I'll link that up here as well. So when you do, um, you know, the self-concept work, self-love work, as you start doing this and it becomes more habitual for you and it becomes more deeply ingrained in you where you're loving yourself, you're choosing yourself in each and every moment because that is a key factor when we're talking about self-love. As you're choosing yourself in every moment, what is best for you in that moment? Not in a selfish way, but a self-loving way. What is best for you in that moment? What naturally happens as a byproduct of loving yourself, of choosing yourself, right? Doing all the things with self-love that I talk about and that I teach. As you guys are increasing that self-love, self-worth, self-value, what you'll notice is that because you're now choosing you in each and every moment, when you have anybody in your life, whether it's partners, family, friends, coworkers, bosses, acquaintances, strangers, when you have somebody that doesn't choose what's best for you in that moment, you'll naturally have a boundary that you didn't even realize you were setting by loving yourself and by choosing yourself in each and every moment. And that natural boundary now before where you would allow people to walk all over you, take advantage of you, if you were a people pleaser, right? If you never, you know, uh, put you first, you always put other people's needs before your own. What you'll find is as a byproduct to loving yourself and choosing yourself in each and every moment and putting you first, prioritizing you in a self-loving way. It creates a natural boundary where now when somebody crosses that boundary and they don't choose you and what's best for you in that moment, you won't like it. It won't feel good. You'll feel like somebody crossed your boundary and it will be a natural response. Even if, you know, you haven't grown enough or loved yourself enough, if it's not solidified enough, you know, where you actually do something about it or, you know, maybe say something or stand up for yourself, um, you know, enforce that boundary. If you haven't done that, if you're not able to do that yet, you will start to feel the feelings though. Like this doesn't feel good. I don't like that, you know, this person, you know, crossed the line or didn't choose me. When you love yourself enough and you've gotten to that place, you'll actually voice it. You'll say something, you'll make that boundary very clear, you'll enforce the boundary, and it actually won't even take work to do it. So I tell my clients, you know, and I teach my clients boundaries, um, and it can be taught, but this is such a better way to do it. Like it's good, you know, knowledge is, is power. I always tell people that, but awareness is key. So as you've loved yourself, as you do this for yourself, what you'll notice is that naturally you'll have boundaries in place. And naturally when somebody crosses those boundaries, it won't feel good. You won't like it. And so you'll actually do something about it and enforce that boundary. Okay. And follow through with it because you now aren't at a place where you're willing to sacrifice what is best for you. And again, this doesn't mean selfishly, right? Selfish is where you're hurting somebody else in the process. No, you're just loving yourself and putting you first in the same way that, you know, on the plane, when they say put the mask on you first before you put it on the person next to you, even if it's your child, because you're no good to that person if you're passed out, right? So it is just about doing, you know, what's best for you in that moment and, you know, taking care of your needs first in a self-loving way. Naturally sets boundaries because you're now used to choosing you, 
right? And loving yourself, you now know your value and your worth. And so naturally a boundary is set in place. And when people cross that, it no longer is okay with you. Okay. And you'll naturally do something about it. So this is the natural way that boundaries get set when you love yourself. All right, my loves, hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, don't forget to do all the things like this video comment down below, share this video with anybody you think that it would be helpful for. And if you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you subscribe to my channel and be part of this ever growing butterfly community. And also don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified of new videos because YouTube seems to have an issue with doing that. Um, and also if you would like to work with me, whether it's in counseling or coaching, I have my uh, link in the description box below for that. All right, my loves, thanks so much for being here and I wish you all peace, love and light until next time. Bye-bye.